In this problem, we have a ring of charge. Uh, so this is the axis of the ring. The radius is r, and the total charge is q. And the first thing we will gotta figure out is what is the potential at some point a distance x away from the center, a distance x along the axis. So if we take up this ring as made up of many point charges, each one of these point charges produces a potential at the point located at x. So the distance from each point charge to x is this distance. So that means that the total potential that the point charges that make up the ring produce at the point located at x is given by this integral of k times dq divided by square root of x squared plus r squared. So to, to understand how to set up this integral, we got to take into account that every point charge produces the potential of this form where r is the distance from the point charge. So we use that. And so each point charge with charge dq produces that potential. And dq, each little point charge, has a charge equal to, to that, to lambda times dl, or lambda is the charge density. dl is the length of that little point of charge along the ring. So we can bring out the constants from the integral, and we just have the integral of dl, which which is the integral of dl is just the circumference of the ring. Okay, so now we could just substitute what lambda is. Lambda is just the total charge divided by the circumference, is the charge density of the ring. So, so we plug in here into lambda, we plug in q divided by 2 pi r, we get this. Okay, so the two pi r's are going to cancel out. And then the total potential at the point located at distance x from the center is given by this. So now we have a, fu a function that describes the potential as a function of distance from the center of the ring. So this is the function. It tells us what the potential is as a function of x, where x is the distance from the center of the ring. So what we actually want is the potential difference between a point located at a distance that is 2r and a point that is located at the center of the ring, where x equals 0. So we just have to evaluate this function at x equals 2r and at x equals 0 and subtract those numbers. Okay, so all we have to do is plug into the the function that we have for potential is a function of x, we plug in 2r is 0. So the potential at x equals 2r is this, the potential at x equals 0 is this, and their difference is just the potential difference between those two points. So we just do this subtraction, and what do we get? We get this potential difference is equal to kq we have this subtraction, we can bring the kq out, factor it out, and that's the potential difference.